Hi guys and welcome back to my, this is tacky as fuck, let me get it out. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to give you a 3 in 1 get ready with me date night edition. So I'm going to show you guys my makeup, my hair, and this cute little outfit that I have on um, for tonight. And I'm going to give you just a sleep peek, just a little bit of... Uh, it's my boyfriend's birthday, so we're going out to dinner. Ouch. <laughs> so we're going out to dinner, and I just wanted to bring you guys along with me and show me my pre show my preparation with you guys. So I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave me your feedback in the comment area. I want to hear what you guys got to say. If you like it, if you did like it, don't don't tell me. But let's get into it. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. So starting off with a fresh, clean face. You already know the brows are on because it takes too long for me to do them on camera. But I'm going to start with going in with my Tarte Base Tape Primer. We're going to moisturize that all the way into our skin, moving it around, pressing it in. Y'all know all that good stuff. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Y'all already know we in the dewy and the smooth, okay? I'm not switching up. Actually, I'm probably thinking about switching up. I have so many other foundations, y'all, but this is just the one that gets me right every time. So I went ahead and applied that on the back of my hand just to warm it up a little bit, and then I applied it with my foundation brush just to move it around on my skin getting it in all those little areas that I can't really get in with my beauty blender. Yes, honey, make sure you get around those eyebrows. <laughs> Lightly brushing over my eyelids. Don't want to put too much product on top of my eyelids because I am going to do um, eyeshadow. Alrighty, after that's nice and pressed in, I went in with a damn beauty blender just to move that product around. Somehow that footage got lost though, y'all. So now I'm going in with my Too Faced Concealer, OG, but a goodie. <laughs> And I'm putting that in all the areas that I want to conceal. So underneath my eyes, on my forehead, on my chin, on my nose, cause you know that nose gotta be nice and sharp. Gonna take this same beauty blender that I pressed the foundation in with and use that to move around my, what am I doing? <laughs> to move around my concealer. Thank you. 
Next, after that, I'm going in with my bronzer. Y'all already know the Morphe bronzer in Phenom. Bless me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But I'm going in with that in a Morphe brush just to contour my face. Y'all, this is what happens when you rush. Everything just seems to go and get in the way. <laughs> I'm rushing at this point and my hair won't get off my face. <laughs> After that's applied to my face, and literally, I mean, just applied to my face, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my setting powder by Fenty Beauty. You already know I'm in the color Honey. And I'm gonna set my face. I'm setting the areas that I concealed. So underneath my eyes again, my nose, my forehead, and my chin. I'm also gonna chisel out some jawline. You already know. Get those jaws nice and chiseled. Oh my goodness, so I applied way too much, but you know what you do on one jaw, you gotta do on the other, so we about to fix it. Just give us a second to get it together. <laughs> I'm having a blast, if you cannot tell, but this is what I do when I'm in a hurry <laughs> next you already know I'm gonna take this off I usually don't bake but it seemed like this was a little bit of a bake because I was trying to fix my mistakes um, with my setting powder so I'm going in with my Mac mineralized foundation in the color dark deepest applying just a little bit I don't care what y'all say, I'm using just a little bit. It looks like a lot, but I'm not <laughs> using a lot. And I'm just sweeping that off of my face, getting that setting powder away. <laughs> so this MAC Mineralized Foundation just brings everything back together, honey. It brings me back to life, back to reality. Like, girl, you don't look like this. So you about to look like how you look. <laughs> Oh my. Okay, so boom. We fixed. Next, going back in with the Phenom and the Morphe bronzer. Just carving out some more depth in my face. I love some nice highlight and bronzer for a night out. Probably the smallest beauty blender you've ever seen, but I'm using that to contour my nose, so I'm just using that same bronzing powder and I'm applying it to the inner creases of my nose and then blending it out with that same brush. Hair still on my face. <laughs> Yeah.
the game. It's a red skin. All right, so let's get into these eyes. So I'm using the Makeup Shayla collab with ColourPop, her recent um, palette, the Proceed with Caution. I'm going in with the color Culture, which is a nude. I'm using it as a transition shade. It probably looks like it's not showing up, but I promise it's showing up. <laughs> gonna lightly dust that on there, and then I'm gonna go in with the color Maintenance, which is this kind of brown, orangey color. And I'm gonna set that in my creases, just giving my eyes some warmth, some depth, all that. I just wanted something on my lids. Going back in with that color culture and I'm gonna put that on my eyelid directly. Doing what I did to the same left eyebrow to the right. Where is that? To the right, to the left. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> So I'm only using those two eyeshadows on my lids with the same brush, y'all. I didn't swap brushes. It's not that serious. I just wanted to apply something. Now I'm swapping brushes because I want to just blend all that together and give it an even set. So cute. So this brush has nothing on it. Next, I'm going back in with my MAC Mineralize Foundation and I'm just sweeping on across. This is like, I don't know, my holy grail. I have to keep doing it. I leave it in my purse, y'all, just in case I need some touch-ups here and there. <laughs> Always using that. So I'm gonna fix these eyebrows, these square-ass eyebrows, y'all already know. I gotta fix them. If, you're not, if you have not watched my tutorial, on how I do my eyebrows, you probably want to go do that because you'll be wondering what I'm doing here. <laughs> so I'm just kind of fading those out so they won't be so square to the front and that they have some type of ombre or gradient effect to them. You'll see, you'll see. This is my concealer brush that I use to conceal my eyebrows and it has maybe a little bit um, of makeup left on it, but I have not reapplied any product to this brush. This is me thinking, what's next? Boom. <laughs> oh, my lips are dry. Sorry, y'all. Oops. <laughs> I don't know why I was being so goofy in this video. Next, we're going in with some black liquid liner. I'm going to create a little bit of wing, just a little bit, just a wee bit. I didn't want to go too dramatic. So just a little wing, just to put with our lashes. Thank you. 
The cutest little wings. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go in with some glow, of course. So we're gonna take our Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and a brush to apply this to to apply some highlight. Getting that nose, honey. Getting those cheekbones. And then you cannot, cannot, absolutely cannot forget your nose. Going in with the Proceed With Caution blush that also came in the collab with Makeup Shayla and ColourPop. Applying that to the cheeks, honey. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Going in with my favorite, favorite, favorite eyelashes, y'all, from the Beauty Supply for $4.99. Y'all probably like this so high. It is, but they're worth it. <laughs> I'm gonna apply those to my eyelids. Look at these. This is my favorite part. Basic to baddie, real quick. Real quick. And when I tell you these are minks on a strip, minks on a strip, honey. You ain't gonna find these nowhere else. Local Beauty Supply store. I don't find them at every one of them, so when I do find them, I buy like three, four at a time. Y'all probably like this crazy girl, but I don't know. It just They just work so well with my eyes. <laughs> so cute, look. Ooh. Next, guys, I'm going in with a black eyeliner just underneath my eyes on my waterline and applying that to both eyes. Period. <laughs> After that, I'm going in with that same color maintenance and I'm applying that to the bottom lash line. And then I decided to go in with the color gloves on, that black, and just to darken and smoke this eye out. Like, this added the dramaticness that I needed. Ooh, hold on, honey. Mm hmm mm hmm Catching that fallout, yeah. Boom. Are we done? We not done. We not done. <laughs> Blending my eyes out some more. Those brows, honey. Get into this look. Hold up. All night to spray. Check it out. All night. It's going to be on. Mm-hmm. Because this Urban Decay All Night Spray don't play. <laughs> Y'all, drop your regimens for crease lines, smile crease lines in the comments because I struggle with this heavy, y'all. Heavy. <laughs> I'm sick of it. What do I need, Botox or something? I don't know. So this halfway completes our face. We're not done, but let's get into this hair, honey, because look at me, look at me. Uh. So I'm gonna wrap up the top of my hair so that we can start focusing on the back area. I'm gonna take my leave out <laughs> and I'm gonna flat iron that. So I'm taking a very, very old flat iron, y'all. I probably don't even get that hot. Um, 
and I'm going to just straighten my hair back out. I messed it up in the shower somehow. So we're just gonna straighten those little sides that you can see because when my ponytail is down, you can't see the middle part. I'm rushing at this point. <laughs> yeah, girl, about to be late. Not really. I'm, I'm like almost on time. A little bit like five minutes before time. So that's on time for me. <laughs> okay, now that we have that situated, we're gonna go in with some curling mousse. I just picked this up from the beauty supply. It's free, it's free, and it's some curling mousse. I think it's wet and wild. I'll leave the description of this um, curling mousse in the description box so that you guys can know what it is. I just picked it up from my local beauty supply store, so I'm putting that in my hair, rubbing my fingers through my hair, detangling it. Also, this hair is from Nadula Hair. It's some Indian wavy hair. I just grabbed it for this quick half up, half down hairstyle. Nothing too serious, guys. Love how this looks. Yep, apply some more. Comb it through. That's the motion. Scrunch it up so we can get those curls back intact. Boom. Top of the hair. We on a roll. Same motion. Apply, scrunch, detangle, comb. And now I'm gonna go in with and do my edges. So I'm using my edge booster, which I love, love, love. Can't get enough of this stuff, y'all. Edge booster doesn't flake, doesn't look greasy. This stuff is the ish. <laughs> and it literally lasts me for a day. I don't need edge control to last me for a week. That's nonsense. Like, just get the job done today and we'll fix you up tomorrow because if I'm not touching my hair in a week, that's not okay. So <laughs> this gets the job done for me, y'all. I, 10 out of 10, would recommend Edge Booster. The Edge Control and the Styling Gel is my favorite for my natural girls. So I'm going in with a brush just to comb out some of the ways I want some fullness to it and to get the defined look away. We're gonna start on these lips using my KKW favorite brown lip liner. I think it's, this is nude four or nude three. Of course, you'll know I have it for you in the description box. So I'm gonna line my lips. Yep, line those baddies. Get rid of my highlighter mustache. <laughs> using a lippy from the ColourPop collab with Makeup Shayla. This is Speed Up, it's a satin nude lip, which I love for my brown girls. Y'all probably like, this is too bright, but you're about to see, I'm about to fix it. I'm using one of her techniques, one of her secrets to apply this bad boy. I love this nude lippy. Next, using Quickie. This is also a ColourPop lip, lipstick and also another Shayla. Shayla, if you out there, girl, holler at me. Let's work. <laughs> going back in with that KKW lip liner and I'm gonna go on top of my lipstick. Yep, and this is gonna give it that pretty ombre effect, guys. That gradient feel, that nude, perfect nude lip that you want. That's it, that's it, that's all. <laughs> and we're ready. I'm gonna go in with my finger and blend out and blend some of the nude on top of the brown, but this is perfect, literally perfect. The perfect nude lip. And we're done.
Okay, so it's time for me to pick out an outfit, y'all. This is the hardest part. Okay, so I have something in my head that I already kind of want to do, wear, wear. Um, I bought it maybe like a year ago or something. I got it on sale for $10. And actually, I, my friend has the same dress. She actually wore it. So I was like, that might be cute to wear to dinner today. I'm not sure. Um, so I think I'm going to wear that. I had to go buy me a belt from Target today because I didn't buy a belt. But I got it for Pretty Little Things for probably like $10 because it was on sale, y'all. <laughs> But who cares because it's my money and this is my dress who care who care i don't <laughs> um so yeah help me decide i hope it's a yay from y'all because i kind of don't have anything else picked out or ironed and i'm running low on time yeah i'm running low on time and steps for today i didn't do that many steps um i hope y'all like this look because i'm feeling it should I do glossy or nude lips? Let me know in the comments what you think I should have done. I'm probably going, I don't know. I'll ask my mama, but she probably going to say do glossy lips. She is always good at the lips part. I'm good at the everything else part. Um, but let me know what I should do. I'm feeling the glossy with the smoky eye and the semi matte dewy foundation. <laughs> So I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll show you the outfit and then you guys can come along with me just a little bit, just a little bit tonight, okay? Okay. Okay guys, so this is the final look. So I went ahead and put on the blazer dress. It's from PLT. Um, I don't even think it's on their website anymore, but um, I'm gonna pair it with my Marc Jacobs box bag with my gold turtle necklace accessory. And then I have on these really cute heels let's see if i can i can't show you hold on <laughs> but anyways this is the belt that i got from target i wish it i should have went down a size because it honestly can be taken in a little bit more um but i think this is so cute um for date night <laughs> okay these are the shoes that i decided to go with Honestly, I don't know um, if I want to do these shoes or if I want to do another kind. But these are really comfortable for me to wear. And I don't want to 